Everything Dinosaur, in collaboration with our chums at Collector, have announced three new prehistoric animal models for 2023, the second batch of Collector models to be announced. Two are giants in their respective ecosystems. The third, a dinosaur, pays tribute to the amateur fossil hunters and their contribution to the science of paleontology. Stick around, we'll tell you more. Hi, Everything Dinosaur here, and in today's video we'll introduce the second batch of new for 2023 collector prehistoric animal models. 2022 has been a tough year, what with the global pandemic, manufacturing issues and problems with logistics. But Collector have still been able to produce an astonishing range of prehistoric animal models. In addition, our dear friend Anthony Beeson, the driving force and inspiration behind the Collector models, sadly passed away early in the spring. But thanks to Anthony's diligence and his amazing prehistoric animal legacy, Collector will be able to produce prehistoric animal models for many years to come. So, after the obligatory reminder about subscribing, we'll crack on. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification button to be part of the conversation. The first of the second batch of new for 2023 collector models and the first collector deluxe scale model to be announced is this stunning 1 to 100 scale replica of the giant Chinese titanosaur Ruyangosaurus. Named and described in 2009 from fragmentary fossil material which included part of the right femur, cervical and dorsal vertebrae, as well as partial ribs associated with bones in the neck and an almost complete lower leg bone, the right tibia. Ruyangosaurus is thought to be one of the largest dinosaurs known from Asia. In the 2009 scientific paper published in the Geological Bulletin of China, the bones were compared to those of the giant South American titanosaur Argentinosaurus, and the scientists postulated that Ruangosaurus was of a similar size. The femur, although missing its bottom half, is 1.2 metres long. It has been estimated to have measured around 2 metres 7 centimetres in total length. The virtually complete right tibia, the lower leg bone, measures 1.27 metres long. An incomplete tibia associated with Argentinosaurus has been estimated to be around 1.28 metres in length. Hence the conclusion by the researchers that Ruangosaurus and Argentinosaurus were about the same size. The Collector Deluxe model has been given a grey elephantine colour scheme to emphasise the size of this dinosaur. Whilst estimates do vary, it has been suggested that Ruangosaurus was around 30 metres long and weighed in excess of 50 tonnes. Hence the formal binomial scientific name for this dinosaur, Ruangosaurus giganteus. The collector deluxe Ruangosaurus has a very thick neck. This is based on the single neck bone to have been found, which was in poor condition, but preserved in three dimensions, with limited distortion. This single cervical vertebrae measures more than half a metre across. Although the neck was massive and perhaps around 12 metres in length, the numerous air sacs associated with the cervical vertebrae help to reduce the weight of the neck. The Collector Deluxe Ruangosaurus will make an interesting partner to the mostly geologically older genus Mementisaurus, a model of which, the Collector Deluxe 1 to 100 scale 
Mementisaurus was introduced by Collector back in 2021. Ironically, the dig site in Ruang County in Henan Province, central China, from which Ruangosaurus fossils were excavated, was near to a second sauropod fossil site, which yielded the potentially closely related but smaller Huanhe Titan Ruyangensis. The skin texture on the Glecton model is incredibly detailed, and this herbivorous dinosaur has been given rows of dermal armour, known as osteoderms, which are most prominent over its vulnerable hips. Whilst there may not be any direct fossil evidence to support this ornamentation, in 2016 a scientific paper was published that reported the discovery of large theropod teeth, purportedly from Carcharodontosaurids, in the same strata. So although Ruangosaurus was a giant in its ecosystem, it coexisted with some supersized carnivorous dinosaurs. It's wonderful to see Collector introducing a replica of a little known but truly gigantic dinosaur. The second new for 2023 figure to be announced this week is the Iguanodontid Brystonius, which will join the recently announced Spinosaurid Ceratosuchops as another dinosaur from the Isle of Wight to feature in the Collector Age of Dinosaurs popular range. Like Ceratosuchops, Brystonius was only recently formally named and described in 2021. Amateur paleontologist Keith Simmons discovered the fragmentary fossil bones in 1978 when exploring a partial cliff collapse after a storm. The fossil material comes from Wessex formation exposures close to the village of Brystone on the southwestern coast of the Isle of Wight. The skeletal remains were found in association with the fossils of a theropod dinosaur, later named as Neoveneta, a meat-eating dinosaur that has also been featured in the collector model range. Originally placed within the taxonomic wastebasket of Iguanodon, and then revised and considered to be an example of a Mantellisaurus, it was retired doctor Jeremy Lockwood from the University of Portsmouth who re-examined the bones and discovered that the fossils had some unique characteristics that distinguished them from Mantellisaurus material. This dinosaur had more teeth in the lower jaw, and a study of the nasal bone indicated that this iguanodontid had a bulbous nose. In addition, the holotype of Mantellisaurus athafieldensis, specimen number NHMUK PV R5764, comes from Vectis formation deposits, which overlie the Wessex formation strata where Brystonius was found, and although these sediments are notoriously difficult to date, this suggests that Brystonius lived approximately 4 million years earlier than Mantellisaurus. So, what was once thought to be an Iguanodon, and then a Mantellisaurus, was identified as a new species, and this dinosaur was named Brystonius simonzi. The bulbous snout has been incorporated into the new collector figure. The patterning on the model would have helped to camouflage this 8 metre long herbivore, and the white flash around the eye suggests that visual communication was very important to this animal, that probably lived in large herds. The collector age of dinosaurs popular Brystonius model measures 14.8 centimetres in length, with a head height of around 4.8 centimetres. It's roughly the same size as the collector drinking Mantellisaurus that was introduced into the Age of Dinosaurs popular range in 2018. Analysis of the sediments on this part of the Isle of Wight 
indicate that these rocks were laid down over the course of several million years. This suggests that there are probably other iguanodontid dinosaurs awaiting discovery in the Wilden Group strata. Our thanks to Collector for introducing a Brystonius into their model range, a dinosaur figure that acknowledges the contribution of amateur fossil hunters and those dedicated scientists who have painstakingly begun to revise the taxonomic wastebasket represented by early Cretaceous European iguanodons. The third and final figure announced this week is a replica of an invertebrate, a hunter, an active swimming predator, Anomalocaris, specifically Anomalocaris canadensis, from the famous Burgess Shale deposits of British Columbia, that were laid down around 515 to 505 million years ago. Anomalocaris canadensis fossil material is found in most of the bedding plains associated with the Burgess Shale. Although their highly fragmentary nature led to much confusion. For example, Anomalocaris was first erected as a genus in 1892, as the long spiked appendages were thought to represent a primitive shrimp. However, Anomalocaris was no armoured crustacean. Its body is thought to have been very flexible and it probably swam with an undulating motion. The design team at Collector have taken care to hint at this flexibility in the S shape of their figure, with each flap on the side of the body sloping below the one behind it to provide a single plane as the animal moves through the water. The images released by Collector don't show the underside so we're not sure what the mouth looks like, known as the oral cone. Perhaps on the model there will be a small inconspicuous vent towards the base of the body segment, reinforcing the idea that this animal had a longitudinal digestive tract and bilateral symmetry. The collector model has a body length of approximately 13 centimetres and although it is difficult to estimate precisely, the uncurled length of those frontal appendages seem to be a little over four centimetres. If the trunk is around eight to nine centimetres long, excluding the tail fins, then this model is roughly within the parameters expected for Anomalocaris canadensis, where the trunk length is thought to have been around twice as long as the length of the frontal appendages. We may not be able to see the mouth, but we can certainly see the large eyes. Stunning fossils assigned to this genus have been found in roughly contemporaneous strata, but perhaps a little older than the Burgess Shale deposits, on Kangaroo Island, off the coast of South Australia. These fossils reveal that Anomalocaris had highly sophisticated compound eyes, with each eye consisting of up to 16,000 individual lenses. For an animal that lived more than 500 million years ago, a time when many creatures' primitive eyes could barely determine light and perceive movement, the eyes of Anomalocaris are probably amongst the most highly advanced of any invertebrate known to science. Our congratulations to Collector. Close-up views of an eye on the model reveal that the figure does indeed show sculpting to give the impression of a compound eye consisting of thousands of those individual lenses. Those frontal appendages deserve a mention too with their paired trident-like spikes of various sizes which, given the constraints of a mass-produced model, have retained a resemblance to the spikes associated with the frontal appendages of the species.
Anomalocaris canadensis. The coloration of the model is intriguing. The outer parts of the flaps and the tail fin have a reddish hue, whilst the head is a much darker red colour. Whilst the Burgess shales represent quite a difficult to interpret depositional environment, it is thought the fossils represent a marine community living on a muddy sea floor at a depth of more than 160 metres. Red light has the longest wavelength of any light in the visible spectrum. Red light is quickly lost as water depth increases. It is not able to penetrate far, and therefore the red hues of this model would appear black, making it difficult for other animals to spot. Lack of wear on the mouth parts and few signs of scratches on the frontal appendages suggest that this large animal was not a voracious hunter of trilobites and mollusks with their hard body parts. Anomalocaris may have fed on unwary worms and other soft bodied creatures that ventured out of their burrows and would not have been aware of the approaching menace lurking overhead. It's wonderful to see a replica of an animal from the famous Burgess Shale deposits joining the collector prehistoric animal model range. That's the second set of new for 2023 collector prehistoric animal models to be announced. They should be available at Everything Dinosaur sometime early next year. How early, we can't say at the moment, but we promise to keep our customers and fans of model collecting updated on our social media pages. So, sometime in 2023, there's going to be two new collector dinosaur models and a replica of the amazing, bizarre marine invertebrate Anomalocaris. Collector have established a strong reputation for making models of iconic invertebrates from the fossil record. They've made models of nautiloids, ammonites, and even a trilobite. Which brings us to this. Our question of the day. What other ancient invertebrate would you like Collector to make a model of? Perhaps a prehistoric dragonfly would get you into a flap, an animal like Meganora, or maybe a sea scorpion might float your boat, or perhaps a monstrous myriapod like Arthropleura. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below, and we'll pass your feedback onto our friends at Collector. So there you have it, our lowdown on the second batch of three prehistoric animal models from Collector to be introduced next year. Now, we will be posting up another video in about a week's time, providing you with exclusive information on the next batch of Collector models to be announced. We'll also post up updates on our social media pages, and we recommend that you follow Everything Dinosaur on Twitter, on Facebook and on Instagram, where we're doing our best to keep you up to date with new model introductions and announcements. We'll also put a link to a blog post providing more information on the three animals we've covered today in the video description down below. Oh, and also in the video description, we'll put up links to the Collector Prehistoric Life popular Age of Dinosaurs range and also a link to the Collector range of scale models. So you can have a look at these excellent model ranges and perhaps pick up a model or two. On that note, I'll say thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And one more thing. Thank you.